Hey, what's going on, everybody? David here, the Digital Dungeon Master, and in this particular DM Tricks of the Trade video, I'm going to show you how to fix a PDF that has that nightmarish problem of copy pasting. Okay, so I have one of my old DDEX1 DD 5e Adventurers League PDFs. Now, in a lot of these early PDFs, and not only with just Adventurers League, but a bunch of other PDFs out there that have to do with role playing games. If you are playing on a virtual tabletop, if you're using Fantasy Grounds or maybe Roll20, you want to put the content into the game for your players, right? So when you go to do any kind of copy pasting, you'll notice that it will copy in columns like you see here. And then when you go to paste it, it literally copies and just paste everything in there as you copy it. And then everything is just a mess. I don't know if it's some kind of security feature or maybe just the way that the PDF is produced, but that used to drive me crazy when I was doing a lot of the early Adventurers League modules for my Fantasy Grounds game. So I did a little bit of research on the internet and I found a great PDF viewer program to use and it's called PDF Exchange Viewer. And it will basically reprocess the PDF, and I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick. Okie dokie, everybody. I've got PDF Exchange Viewer loaded up now, and I've got my DDEX1 uh, Adventurers League PDF in here. Now, the whole reason I'm doing this is to be able to copy paste whole paragraphs at one time to where it's not copying it in columns. And I'll show you when we're done here uh, that it's going to fix the PDF. And like I said, I don't, I don't know if this is some kind of security feature or what, but it, like I said, it drove me batshit crazy pretty much. Now you can download this uh, PDF exchange viewer. You can download it for free. It's a totally free program. And down in the comments section below, I'll have a link for you so you can go and get it. Now, what we're going to do is once you have the PDF in there that you want to fix and correct, uh, you, what you want to do is go to the top left, click on documents. And when you click on documents, you're going to want to go down to OCR pages and OCR pages is where the magic happens. And you can, it has some options. You can do all of the pages, the current page, or you can do whatever pages you want to. So for this, I'm just gonna do the entire PDF. And then the recognition section, this is the accuracy that you want to put the layers in. So what it's gonna do is, it's gonna basically take the PDF and make it a single image layer. And then on top, the OCR is it's basically like a character recognition and it's going to take all of the text and it's going to put the text on a file well, on a layer above the image. And then that way you won't have anything else interfering with it, anything, no other kind of maybe security features, and you'll just be able to copy paste like normal. So. I always do high accuracy because I noticed if I did low accuracy, I got a smaller file size, but it seemed like the OCR didn't pick it up as well as it could have been. So uh, I went ahead and started doing everything on high and now I've, I've had no problem at all. Because sometimes you would get, if you did it on low, a W would be like two Vs or something. So you would have to delete the Vs and put a W. And then uh, for the output, I always do the maximum, which is 600 DPI. And there we go. And just make sure you do, uh, in the PDF output type, uh, make sure it's set at con uh, convert page content to image only and add a text as a layer. And then you'll be golden. And then when you hit OK, you'll see that a, a progression bar comes up and it'll basically progress through all 32 pages or however many PDF pages that it has. So after that, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this and we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I've got the new version of my PDF back into my PDF viewer that I was using originally. And this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it copy paste everything like normal. Ah, look at that. It doesn't copy it anymore in columns. It'll do the entire column and then it's accurate and it goes over to the uh, other column and you can just go down and, and highlight everything. And then you can hit Control C, 
And then you can go into whatever program that you're using. We'll go ahead and we'll make a, a new story tab for this. We'll kind of open it up and we'll paste this text in here and look at that. Everything is great. It's not a jumbled mess anymore. And then you can just go in and, and do your alt J's and kind of put everything in, in paragraph form. So there you go, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this DM Tricks of the Trade video. I want to know down in the comment section, have you ever had this type of problem with any of the PDFs you've had? And did you know that it could be corrected instead of typing it out word by word and, word by word? and believe me, I've done that a couple of times and I wish I would have known about this uh, PDF exchange viewer and the OCR option. So there you go, everybody. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor and please give me a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate it. And you can check out all of my other Starfinder, D&D 5e, DM Tricks of the Trade, Fantasy Grounds tutorials, and many more on my YouTube channel. And once again, I'm David, the Digital Dungeon Master. And until next time, happy gaming and stay safe.